So we're here to talk about 16 millimeter film. Let's start off with what is 16 millimeter film? So 16 millimeter film is 16 millimeters wide. It has sprockets, holes down one side so that it can run through a camera. It has a plastic coating and on the other side is emulsion. So the light comes through the lens onto the emulsion and exposes the image. It's on a roll like this, so a standard roll of film is 11 minutes. We made a film together. Can you tell us about that film? We recently made a short drama. Uh, it's called Where Is My Sister? It's about two sisters coming back together to try to reconnect after the death of their mother. And there's some things that we wanted to try in making this project. So first of all, it was shooting on 16 millimeter film, but it was also pushing it in terms of what we could do in a single location. I wanted to work with film because it had this really unique look. And also the challenge of working with a medium that has some constraints around it. I knew that I could only go for two or three takes per shot, otherwise I was gonna run out of stock. So that made me really consider how I wanted to put this film together. It's a big leap of faith working on film because you only have the eyepiece and it's not practical to be always looking through the eyepiece. So you need to put a lot of trust in your crew and in particular your camera operator and your cinematographer that they're gonna capture what you need. And at the end of that whole process, what did you like about working on film? I think the film really came to life in the colour grade. So we are able to push it pretty far. And in this particular film, because we are dealing a lot with different coloured lighting and costumes, I was really able to bring that out in the grade, which I really enjoyed doing. And it looks it, like, obviously, it was shot on film. Like, you can really tell. It has a real distinct vintage feel to it, but it still does feel contemporary. So mm -hmm. it, it's bringing those two things together really, really well. At Flinders University, we're teaching students how to shoot on 16 millimeter film. Why are we doing that? The advantage of shooting 16 mil is it forces us all to be very particular and focused about every setting on the camera and the lens. So everything has to be measured and then set before we can film. So it makes us think clearly about what focus actually is or what exposure truly is. And then that knowledge is expanded to all cameras and lenses and formats. Like you're saying, it's that manual process of going through everything step by step that enables you to be a better, more well-rounded filmmaker. So we have long conversations in the class about what focus is, depth of field, if you have two actors and they're moving, how are you going to change the focus, when, why. So Tom, what do you think is good to shoot on 16mm? I think you need to consider the medium and what it looks like and what you can do with it. I think it lends itself to a vintage retro look, showing things that potentially occurred in the past, uh, dream sequences, and in particular things like film noir, or films that have quite stylized lighting, horror films, uh, even sci-fi. But I think you can make anything on it, but it's your opportunity to consider how the medium can help tell part of that story. For me, the best thing about 16mm film is that it's so technical and also so creative all together. Fantastic. Great, thank you.